You ready to fight? You ready? Right, round one of this stand-up only fight is underway. A friendly reminder of the rule set. Not a whole lot of them, but you can't grapple or wrestle at all. And if the fight does hit the canvas, no follow-up strikes permitted on the ground. Effective jab there by Holloway. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume. Jab, right hand, body shot, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Oh, that was a big one there. I mean, right away, no feeling on process. These boys just went and started fighting. That was beautiful with a straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like that, DC. You can't relate. His misses are entertaining. Maybe Leather landed on both sides in that exchange. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Holloway. Oh, another nice combination there. Not sure if it was the three-piece and a soda or what it was, but he is in a flow state here. Oh, he is moving and grooving tonight. He's feeling good. Look at the footwork. Look at the fainting of the shoulders. And then when he starts, right, he may not go right away. But when he goes, it's going to be an extended combination. Watch for him to try to really set down the last punch to end this fight. Good defensive vision to block that punch. Straight punch, that is useful. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him tonight. It's worked out phenomenal to this point. He's fighting, and he's fighting exactly as he needs to if he wants to win this fight. Went for the inside leg kick. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Holloway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Wear your hands. Oh. Back to the jab now. No good. Oh, perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those who might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Big left hand. Oh, big elbow. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by McGregor. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Final seconds here. So the round is over and you see some obvious blue. All right, let us get you some replays. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Just misses with the straight left hand. All right, we thought in this round perhaps things would be different, but that is not the case. Kicking is normally his strong suit, but kind of laying back in the cut and waiting for things to happen to him. It's like taking your best weapon and just putting it away and then going to war. This guy has such amazing kicks, and he's not throwing it. I don't understand what's happened. I don't know if something happened in training camp that affected the leg, but something is stopping him from using his best weapon. McGregor's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Oh! Slip there to avoid the punch by Holloway. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. 
Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's note. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Under a minute now to go. Nice crack there. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. McGregor's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is poor and poor. All right, round three coming up next. All right, back to the stools we go. And that all right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down. Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, it's oh, oh, got to keep pressing here. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. He's hurt. He's wobbling. Back to his feet. think they might bring in the ringside position to take a look at that cut between rounds. Nice block. 